Oh, don't you dare look back Just come and join my country You know, take an honest back Come join our country with me Technology, that's my country I said, oh, oh, come join my country with me We are citizens of the Bojaban, of a new nation, call our home, a nation of robots and technology. Oh, we were born to get together, bound to be together. I got my friends, I don't know how it happened, we took the floor in our cell. I don't you dare move up, just come and join my country with me, nothing can hold us back. I said, come join my country with me. Oh, Richard, that's my country. I said, oh, oh. come join my country with me. The traditional Pegasus sleepover. Oh, oh, my advisor, Sinister Scott and Spot are here for the traditional technology and Pegasus sleepover. <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome to the Technology Land Castle, Princess Sinister Scott and Sprout of Maritime Bay. Right on time for the traditional Technology Land brings a sleepover. Oh, I'm always in for time for a sleepover. And a tech themed one at that. I couldn't be more excited. I am so happy you all arrived at the sleepover. I have everything prepared ready. Come in, come in. Oh, we're already behind the schedule. Behind on schedule? But the party hasn't even started yet. Did the other ponies arrive yet? Ah, uh, no pony else. Uh, uh, just you and Sprout are, are the only ponies invited to this party. <laughs> oh, it's just me and Sprout? I'm so honored that we are the only ones invited. What is the party for anyway, if you don't mind me asking? Yeah, th this party is only for uh, you, our technology land queen, and uh, your friend, Sprout. Well, I'm glad to be here. A party just for me? That's really something... What are we going to be doing at this sleepover? Uh, I just you wait and see. Uh, technology land is the best country to uh, throw in uh, sleepover parties. Uh, this is going to be unlike any other sleepover you've been to. Uh, we, uh, this is going to be an epic uh, technology land, uh, modern uh, sleepover. Come on, technology land yans. <laughs> <laughs> King Technology, the hotel manager, and welcome to the balmy Technology Land Resort. Oh, four stars! <laughs> oh, can I go put on my bathing suit? That's a good idea. I can finally wear that adorable cover-up and straw hat that I bought for the balmy weather. Really? So now we're all pretending to be on vacation? You see, this is just as cramped and uncomfortable as a real hotel room. <laughs> so. How does this game work? It's a game of skill and savvy. It's called, By Jove, You've Wrecked My Robot. Ugh, that sounds like a... A game I should be showing to... Sinister school. Honey, you should mention that. They're so cute! Aren't they, though? I don't know. You kids have fun! So, here's how we play. We each have a map of the city, broken up into a grid. Colors across the top, numbers down the side. You place your six robots throughout your city. And I'll place mine throughout mine. Then we each take turns guessing where each other's robots are. If you guess the correct square, your robot short circuits. Wreck all of your opponent's robots, and you win. Get it? Ready. All right, finally, I will allow you to make the first move. Okay, green four. Uh, nope. No robot there. My turn. Purple six. Why me? <laughs> Loud for such a little robot. Okay, now you say, By Jove, you've wrecked my robot. Seriously? It's right there in the title. Fine. By Jove, you've wrecked my robot. Come on, admit it. This is fun! Um, blue three. By Jove, you've wrecked my robot. Uh, Whoa! The ground shook. Whoa! <gasps> this game is real! Oops! <laughs> Guess my secret is out. <laughs> yes, this game is real. Here, try some of our authentic Pegasus. Marine water tea. Oh, this tea is really good. I haven't ever had rainwater tea before, and it's a little cloudy, but the taste is great. Thanks for the tea. So, what are we going to be doing after the tea? Pegasus got cloudy. Station. 
Water spout. Yeah! Glad you like it, Sunny. This popcorn is made from real storm clouds with lightning. Oh, I've never eaten storm cloud popcorn before. I better be careful. I don't want the electricity shocking me. This is the best thing I've ever eaten in my entire life! Okay, so we're about to show you a technology land propaganda video about why technology land is the best country in the world. Oh. Oh, a propaganda video? That sounds intriguing. I better watch closely. Okay, Blue Pony, turn your attention to the screen. Let's go! <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Technology Land of uh, Visitor Ponies. Uh, in this video, we will show you the sights, the smells, the sounds, and the uh, and reasons why uh, Technology Land is the best country in the world, and why you should move to Technology Land. <laughs> Are you really? Or Oh, powerful? But don't always show it. Would you like to become more powerful with the power of technology and technology? Hmm, I think so. Are you sick and tired of Queen Haven and Sheriff Hitch? Always getting in your way? Yeah! And, and, and do you hate it when you get sick and have to go to the hospital? <laughs> or have to go to work and pay a big amount of taxes where your country's leaders get free healthcare and paid the mortgage? <laughs> yes! Why do Sheriff Hitch and Queen Haven get free healthcare and paid off mortgage while I have to go to work and die of sickness? If you answered yes to any of these questions and you're ready to become... More powerful. Oh boy, what do I do? I bet you're wondering what you should do. Why the best way for you to feel more powerful is to go to technology land. Here in technology land, we have the best and most modern technology of any other country in the world. Technology land is the country of modern technology and robots where technology and coronavirus is illegal. If somebody carries a dangerous weapon or is sick with coronavirus, they will be banned from the country. In technology land, you, you, you stay a young kid forever, you never age and become old, and, and you can even marry a car, a car or a robot. <laughs> we have the best technology, the best spoon, and the uh, best modern medicine that can cure any disease. Someday we will even be, be, we will even be able to create a vaccine that can cure death. <laughs> All the cars are electric, no gasoline cars. No gasoline cars allowed in technology, our country will make you want to leave your old country and come live here in, in technology land instead. Every pony is welcome in technology land, whether you're Pegasus, Unicorn, or Earth Pony. So, have you signed up to become a citizen of technology land yet? Yeah, I could do that. Wonderful! Never aging, marrying an inanimate object. This all sounded so incredible. A vaccine that can cure death. Did the narrator say cure death? That is one amazing vaccine. How close are you ponies to making that vaccine? Now get going! If you want to become a more powerful pony, become a Technology Land member and become powerful with the power of Technology Land technology today. We now return to our regularly scheduled musical program, Bongos, played by robots, for Technology Land Yans. Wow, this is great! Look out, world! And Queen Haven and Hitch. Here comes the mighty and powerful Sprout. Again! <laughs> I don't know, King Technology. What kind of sleepover is this? This doesn't seem fun. Sure it does. May I escort you to the beach? <laughs> ah. She's starting to feel kind of fun and relaxing. And now it's time for scary stories, which are a big part of the traditional princess sleepover. That's one tradition we do back in Maritime Bay, too. I have the best story ever. Oh. Once upon a time, my mom says the earth ponies and unicorns try to eat up all the pegasine by zapping him with lasers and frying him to a crisp. They wouldn't do that. So the Pegasus kicked their butts in an epic battle? Those are lies! Zoom! Tell him! Well, uh, that is kind of what our teacher said in history class. But that is not the true story at all! The ponies are all supposed to get along, remember? Boring! It's 
like in the olden times when all three pony kinds were friends? Ah, uh, here we go again. Why don't you regale us with your story? This is the true story of the Guardians of Harmony and the beginning of Equestria. Uh, I love this story. Once upon a time, there was a very special unicorn. A bright unicorn, as bright as the sun. One day, she was summoned by the princess for an assignment to learn about friendship. She moved to Ponyville and met Earth Ponies, Unicorns, and Pegasi, who became her best friends. Together, they taught the power of unity and how to live in harmony to every pony in Equestria. Oh, just kidding. I knew that. But that's when we promised to talk about the Unicorns and Earth Ponies. Uh, before you brought our tribes together. Wait, you thought that Earth Ponies were cannibals? Oh, yes, we thought you eat all the Pegasus and that was before. <laughs> That's pretty disturbing. Now, how about we end this perfectly balmy Sleepover. day by, oh, I don't know, watching the tropical sunset? Ha <laughs> ha super cool technology. Now then, let me just set this thing up. Uh oh, 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 what happened? Uh, the power went on a block out. Uh. I guess that's sunset, kids.